Hey YouTube, this is Jim Afanis from Film Games Etc. And I thought today I would record a brief companion video to go along with my written review of Dying Light. I'm currently playing this game on the PlayStation 4 and I'm using the Share Factory to record some gameplay. Unfortunately, nothing too memorable happens in this session. I actually die a little bit later on and I blunder over a few jumps. So if you're looking for an amazing how-to play video, this is not the place for you. But the reason I actually wanted to record a video was to kind of highlight some of the features I had talked about in my written review. The biggest thing that really draws me into this game and the primary reason that I wanted to show this in video form was the ambiance. Now I do have the sound doped down a little bit so you can hear my narration over the uh, gameplay, but it really does set a great feeling in this game and you really do feel like you are truly one of the last survivors in this city. Um, I don't really talk too much about the story in my written review and that's because it's pretty forgettable. There's nothing happen, nothing that happens that's really all that memorable and although the story does touch on it a little bit, it, uh, it's kind of one of those games where you kind of have to make up your own narration almost in your head. You will get into a few repetitive missions, and you will get into a few uh, things that... Oh, well, I don't want to give too much away, but you'll see what I mean when you play. Some of the stories kind of like, well, oh, really? But that's okay. You know, having fun running around and exploring, kind of just taking in the world, it, it's pretty cool. I, uh, I was really, really blown away by some of the particle effects that you see off in the horizon and some of the cool lighting levels. Something I didn't mention in my review, but I did notice, although it wasn't too major, was the draw distance is very, very well. However, you will notice that everything is just slightly blurry right outside your field of view, and as you get closer, it, it hones in, which is pretty standard for most games, but you'll notice a definite line on the horizon. It's about 15 feet in front of the character. I don't know if the way I captured this uh, gameplay video or a combination of YouTube or any of the compiling or uh, video editing that I've done will show that, but it is something that the kind of video files will pick up on right away. I wouldn't say it really ruined my gaming experience too much, and although I am running around like a crazy man and trying to hit inanimate objects, I thought this barrel would explode, for example, and it didn't. For the most part, though, running around and having fun, uh, it, it doesn't slow the pace down, and it doesn't there's like no loading or any kind of major pop-ups. It wasn't as if a zombie was not there and then suddenly was there. So I guess that would be my primary takeaway from that. But excluding that, the, uh, the way the light reflects, or not reflects, the way the light goes through the trees and wraps around the buildings and the sound effects, the groaning of the zombies. There's this different kind of zombies that, uh, like the scientists, where they have the... Like the, high, the hazard suits on and you can hear them breathing it's like a really wet breathing through the oxygen mask it's very 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 uh, encapsulating sound and I really like that about this game just running around and climbing and trying to explore different things here as you see I've been going through and clearing out the safe houses which is one of the ways you can you know be safe during the night uh, I found it was free for me in these types of games I totally ignore the story I just go straight for the kind of exploration and I go around and just loot all the chests and do all kind of side missions before I dive into the main game. And I've always played that way and I find this game is definitely rewarding for exploration. You can see the weapon I'm using is a pretty tricky looking uh, little thing. It's one of the many weapon customizations that you can get in the game. Uh, you actually go and find blueprints either through just looting things or there are some perks that will help you learn new ones or you can actually just buy them outright. Um, I believe that one is called the 230 volt although I do have some other goofy ones including the water current, the sit down or go to sleep. One of them is called airport security. They're kind of goofy names and it is not as outrageous as the Dead Rising series for example but it does add a pretty neat spin to the game. Each weapon can be uh, repaired only a certain amount of times and then when it's gone it's gone and you do lose those crafting materials obviously when you make the weapon so it is important to get a good weapon but not use it on you know trivial tasks save it for those big guys like I didn't engage at that point but you saw that giant zombie a minute ago and I was looking through the bus 
that guy was a tough guy. I'd probably use my weapon on that. And the weapons do actually degrade in visual appearance as they're used more often, which is actually a really cool feature. And your weapon will start to bend and the, you know, it won't look as good and then eventually just flat out break and you'll be carrying around a broken stick or something and that's your quote unquote weapon. There you see I'm just going to loot and try to clear out these safe houses. Most safe houses play the same. There's a small uh, set of zombies you have to clear and then you have to turn on a circuit breaker in some capacity. That's not the circuit breaker I'm looking for. It's actually, uh, I believe, upstairs in this one. But just walking around trying to find any treasure, any loot. You'll notice occasionally I'll hit, I'll, uh, you'll see like a ping come out, like a sonar ping. And what that does is that's kind of your zombie sense almost. And it'll tell you what's around you. So if you're looking for, it'll tell you what areas can be looted. And it'll tell you what, um, you know, what, what things you can interact with and that sort of thing. So you'll see me ping occasionally and run over and like loot different barrels. For the most part, I have a pretty good feel for what barrels and what things can be looted, like what garbage cans and chests and everything. But sometimes there's stuff that blends into the background. And I will say that that does take away from the immersion a little bit because it's almost like, hey, click here, look at me. But at the same time, um, I don't think it breaks it. I don't think it hurts. And, you know, I compare this to like an open world looting system, say like Dishonored or Skyrim, for example. Um, in that game where you could be like a klepto, this one doesn't have as much stuff to grab, so I don't think it hurts having that. But there is some hand holding, um, but nothing too major. I think that breaks it. You'll notice how incredibly tough these zombies are, and that was one thing I wanted to touch on briefly. These guys are tough, and yes, I'm not using the best weapon. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen that, that this nail bat I have, the nails are all bent on it now, actually. But you see the indicators flashing red. That means it's about to break, and it's very weak. So I don't really do a lot of damage with this, so, but these guys do take a beating, and that kind of fits my play style with the more quote-unquote agility-based I don't like to just stand there and, uh, you know, bang with enemies. I actually like to run around and run away and use kind of the parkour to my advantage and just I'll go off and explore and climb. You'll see me occasionally do, like, running jump kicks or, you know, kicking enemies here or there. But for the most part, if I can run away, that's... I prefer to do that. As such, my skill tree in the um, damage uh, aspect is, is pretty weak. I don't really have a lot of skills as opposed to my agility where... I have almost all of them max, so I can jump over zombies' heads, and I take, uh, it takes less damage when I fall, I can climb faster, that sort of thing, so. Anyways, I just wanted to give a brief little companion video with the written review I did. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I know a lot of the other contributors on the site are going to be populating the YouTube channel more, trying to make it a little more... Uh, updated as I begin to do more and more reviews or written articles I will try my best to do a companion video with it if there's anything that you would be interested in hearing me talk about or any of the other uh, contributors talk about please comment rate subscribe and, and leave us some feedback or go to our website filmgamesetc.com and leave some feedback there I am pretty active in the site and I do try to post two to three times a week about just video game news or reviews or anything primarily focusing on the Wii U and PlayStation 4 but that doesn't mean uh, and, and PC as well but that doesn't mean that you know if there's something else out there you know we can't figure out how to get a either review copy of it or at least get some feedback on it anyways thanks for watching and uh, I will talk to you all later take care